I'm appealing to our development partners, together with our government, kindly assist where you can, because the situation is not good. Nikimalizia your excellency, salimia rais wa Kenya, nimeona kupande ya turukana, wewe uko hapa, mimi nataka niseme, kwa semo ukweli ni mwenyezi mungu ndi walipanga muingia kwa serikali tuweze kufanya kazi pamoja. Na nikimalizia, mweshimua rigadhi gashago unajua wewe ni jirani yetu. Mimi na kuomba hii chakula, hata kama tumesema igawe vizuri, mimi naomba agawia kajado mingi kidogo yu excellence, sababu watawe ni mtu aerea. Kwa hayo mengi, <laughs> nishukuru pia governor kwa sababu pia umekuwa kigawa kiasi, county assembly, governor akileta budget, pitisheni watu wetu wapate chaku, sinikweli. Kwa hayo mengi na chache mwenyezi mungu wa bariki, asante ni sana. Kini za berani nasi ya ipawakini? Eme hirejo begi buo peo mwenuni na alorokitin? Eme yara la loan? Ia? Eme yara la loan? Tini yu na ane alaki mbari ya marie nebea na serikali e Kenya kwanza e Rigathi Kashagwa o William Ruto. Mati jingine wei. Miki nito jato niya imini. Anemi, anemi ni ngiroe ni kijiru? Na gobe loita ngopu. Wakisema ni hii, hii ndiyo njia. Na hii ndiyo serikali ambaye itasaidia wa Kenya. Sio pande ile ingine, uko ni apana, tafadhali. Eh, apana piga hiyo kona, uko, eh, mnaona hii hata hiyo mzee wa kitandavili ya kianza kulalamika, kulalamika. Likuwa natumia watu kunyonga watu. Mungu ataongea juu yake, juu ya hayo yato ya mbaya walifanya. Haya, wacha nchikua na fasi hii mwishimu wa senator kuja, alafu ndiyo tumalisi. Asante sana. Karibu senator, pigeni ma kofi senator. Asante. Your Excellency, Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Mwishimua Rigadhi Gashagwa, allow me one minute just to give the County Commissioner to say something. Mana tuko kwake na kidogo tulihingia immediately. Kwa ruhusa yako, Your Excellency, County Commissioner wetu, atusalimi hata naeza kutueleza Kidogo, much of what, what is happening in this county. Please, just come. Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Excellency Governor, our development partners, Honorable MPs present, MCS, good afternoon. Your Excellency, I want to thank you for the continued support that we have been receiving from the national government. We've been receiving relief support continuously every month. And starting this month, we have received four times what we have been receiving. That means the governor, the committee that he chairs, and I co-chair with him, we will be able to reach more people who are in need of food. I want to thank you, and we will continue to work tirelessly to make sure that no, hum no human life is lost because of hunger. Your Excellency, despite all what these great people are going through, I want to report to you, they have continued to obey the rule of law. None of them has invaded anybody's farm in search of pasture or taken advantage of the situation that we are in, we are with. And I want to take this opportunity to thank these great people of Kajado for showing this high level of civility. Thank you very much. And again, Your Excellency, Karibu Kajado. Thank you. Thank you, Your, Your, Your Excellency. Uh, County Commissioner Harun Kamau has been a vessel and a good person to us. 
and I know very well that he has been doing a, quite a good job for distribution of this relief food. So we have a good time to give him at least to say something, although now he should have come before, before us. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. Um, the governor of this county, His Excellency, the governor, Joseph Olelenku, the visitors from Nairobi, the ambassadors, the MPs, MCS, na watu wote wa Kajiado County, Kajiado Central. Hamjambo. Enda Suba. Emigingo njia grapeno. Eh, asanti sana, Your Excellency. Mimi pia sita kuwa na mengi. Yangu ya takuwa machache sana. Ya kwanza ni kukushukuru. Vile wale walio tutangulia walisema, umetupenda sana. Kufika hapa mara mingi. Serikali ya kukuwa hapa, juzi tumekuwa na waziri. Katika wizara ya kilimo, hamekuwa hapa. Kajiado count. Wewe umekuwa hapa pamoja nasi, pale loitoktok, rombo ward, president wetu wamekuwa pale rongai, juzi juzi tu, na ni mambo mazuri tumekuwa tukiona kutoka kwa serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza. Tunakushukuru sana, na fikishia, mfikishie ripoti mweshimua rais, kwamba sisi watu wakajiado tunawapenda sana. Kwa mambo mengi, Amba umetufanyia mambo ya uh, kuingiza watu wa Kajiado hii katika serikali yenu tumeshukuru sana hata katika juzi appointments ya PSSs hatujaachwa nyuma so tunakushukuru mheshimiwa kwa mambo mazuri najua kwamba mengi yatakuja hapo mbele kwa haya mambo ya chakula ambaye leo hii tuko na shida kubwa Tumekuwa tukisema kama viongozi tunahitaji watu wetu wapate chakula na hatu amuja tuacha tunakushukuru your excellency sana pamoja na partner ya Rado la Meyu na meneja tunakuomba mheshimiwa angalia hiyo kwa unyenyekevu mkubwa sana ya pili itakuwa kwa yale ambaye Mungu atatuachia maana unajua Mungu tuko na kitu kidogo at, atabakisha kwa hii kiangazi tuweze kuwai, kupata kambuni ama uh, factory ya, uh, ya ngozi maana sasa hivi ngombe zinakufa na ngozi haiwezi kuwa itaharibika tungekuwa na mahali ya kuweka ngozi ya ngombe yetu mbuzi tungekuwa tunapeleka pale Tunakuomba maana ninajua kwamba ni agenda ya serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza. Wacha hiyo kambuni ya Tanari ikuwe pia hapa Kajiado maana bado tutakuwa na ngombe Mungu atatujalia. Ya mwisho kidogo tu kwa mambo ya maendeleo. Wakati tulipokuwa siasa mheshimiwa rais tuku, tuko na daraja iko hapa maparasha ambaye kidogo inatusumbua Tunakuomba sana angalie iweze kumalizika ilianza wakati wa mheshimiwa uh, General Ngaiseri na wakati tulipokuja hapa tulipomlete rais wetu pamoja na wewe hapa Manyata maparasha alituahidi ya kwamba tutatengeneza barabara inatoka pale Amboseli ije ipite maparasha ikuje hapa Bisil iende mpaka Torosei Magadi barabara ya Lami Hata sisi watu wa Kajiado tuweze kuenjoy lami ama namna gani? Eme nija roi na itakui nakata constituencies tatu. Kajiado South, Kajiado Central na Kajiado West. Hiyo itakuwa ni barabara ambaye hata sisi kama Kajiado County tumeenjoy na tumeona ya kwamba serikali yetu ya Kenya kwanza. Na mi naona mweshimua governor Olelengu anaendelea tu kuja pole pole ndani ya serikali na hatuna maneno lakini kwa condition moja pale 2027 tukue pamoja ama namna gani ni mimi ndo kibu itu ralunga na lang tuache kupoteza watu wetu kwa opposition mahali ambaye ni mzee ambaye amepitwa na wakati 
wakati sisi tunaendelea kuunda serikali wanaenda kotini ya East Africa. Sasa hiyo ni nini tena? Kara dene bwidoi? Ya yeah. yeah, okay, yogi uh, governor. Toli kilungana meru na serikali. Pokin, na mimi ndo gea bwidoi ralungana tia do opposition. Ashole marama ya nanda yankai, nidi miende karibu mheshimiwa governor. Asante sana. Thank you. Aya asanti sana seneta wetu Peguseki <coughs> Mweshmiwa naibu wa rais Mweshmiwa rigadhi gashagwa Wabunge wetu Wa national na wa county Yetu tukufu ya kajado Viongozi wameambatana na naibu rais Nikitambua cabinet secretary wetu madam wanjao na watu wa kajado watu wa ilbis ilham jambo enda subali ama sailang mimi si laitori yani era subati ashera kera na show lente enda iniki aradankai niki yola jangara na golo lengre ankara yalla me ina ina be kitiene Kipwa isho lo mwono kote mbira lope kitu maa ranga mai ndai. Mweshmiwa naibu wa rais. Wacha tuni muombe seneta wetu. Mweshmiwa ngokoyo, speaker. Na MCA wangu waende kwa ndege. Watangulize ndio wapate uko. Hawa viongozi wanine naomba mutangulie. Wapi Trump. Lea nasema tuko sawa na governor. Erosho modo waya vaina budine uweji. Aya asanti mweshmiwa naibu rais tena kwa kuja kajado ah uh, mheshimiwa naibu wa rais i want in a very special way to welcome you to kajado your home we appreciate your friendship and gesture and we appreciate you bringing aya tutulie kidogo amari graraveno amari graraveno na ibra so that i know you don't have much time Allow me to just invite a few of your uh, invited guests just to come forward and uh, uh, greet the people and say something. But I want to thank you and thank them in a very special way for coming to support our communities and our country. And as the governor of Kajado, I am very honored to host them. I want to invite our ambassador to France to come forward and shortly the good lady from Ireland uh, say something briefly, then we will proceed from there. Karibu. Ujambo. Habari ya subuhi. Good morning. Uh, I just want to, uh, to thank uh, the Deputy President for uh, inviting me to, uh, to this mission and also to thank uh, His Excellency the Governor for the uh, very uh, special Maasai hospitality that we have received here. So, Asante Sana. Uh, I just want to say that for us, uh, it's uh, very important to be part of this mission and to see from our own eyes the many challenges that uh, this region and Kenya is facing, but you know, the region from here, Kijado, you're facing. So um, we will report back to our capital. I think this visit is also very timely because there will be a very, very important meeting in two days in Egypt where all the leaders, the global leaders, will discuss the consequence of what is called now uh, a climate crisis. Uh, so, once again, thank you very much. Asante sana, karibu. Habari yenu. 
Your Excellency the Deputy President, Your Excellency the Governor of Caggiado, all protocols observed. I love that line. <laughs> um, I'm so honoured to be here with you today. My name is Fanula Quinlan. I'm the Ambassador from Ireland. I just want to express our solidarity with you, the people of Caggiado today, and indeed with all of the people of Kenya as you face this drought crisis. Um, one of our cabinet secretaries came to visit in August. He was in Turkana, but he also met the, the government of Kenya. He met county governments and many of our partners. And as a result of that, Ireland has renewed our commitment to this region. So I'm very grateful to have been part, to be part of this visit today. And as my colleague Arno said, to see it with my own eyes and to bring that reporting back and to bring your stories back to my colleagues in, in Dublin and in Ireland. So, Asantini Sana, and thank you, Governor, and thank you, um, Deputy President. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Excellency Ambassadors. I now want to invite our UNDP resident representative, followed by Madam Kala, FAO. Karibu, Karibu Sana. I'm Jambo. Your Excellency, Deputy President Rigathi Gachagua, uh, friends, colleagues, uh, it's a great pleasure to be with you today. My name is Anthony Ngororano. I am the resident representative of the United Nations Development Program. I have three messages. My first is we are together, Tuko Pamoja. The second is that as the United Nations and the United Nations Development Program, we have you very close at the center of our work. We are working on job creations with a focus on the youth, and we look forward to working together with the community leaders to make sure that youth are at the center of the solution. Secondly, we are working on water. Water is life, and water for the United Nations is one of our top priorities in response to what we see today as the dry spell. We look forward to working together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm Jambo. Your Excellency, Deputy President, uh, Your Excellency, Honorable Governor, Kadiado Kanti, members of, uh, I know that we are with members of Parliament, Senate, MCs, uh, really Your Excellency's ambassadors, colleagues, and really community of uh, Kadiado. My name is Carla Mukavi. I'm the FAO County Representative, and I'm really one of you. I've been here four times in a space of, four, of two months. So that tells that, you know, we are in this together. Uh, I really thank the government of Kenya. We are here really to join the efforts that uh, really they are undertaking to respond to the crisis that the country is facing, and Kadiado County in particular. As FAO, we have been really focusing on livestock because we know that livestock is really the livelihoods of most of the communities that are really affected by the drought. We have been, uh, of course, supporting with animal feed, with animal health, in order to maintain the livestock that really remained alive so that they can really continue milking and providing the little of nutrition you know, to the kids, to lactant women, pregnant women, and to the community as a whole. But of course we know that uh, this is not enough. And I want to take this opportunity really to thank our partners, to thank, you know, the donors that have been providing the resources that have, have been allowed us really to respond to the challenges that we are facing. But of course we have to look ahead as we respond to the crisis, as we respond to the humanitarian, uh, of course, challenges, we have to look at really the long-term solutions. And that's why, really, this week here in Kadiado, we have launched a project that is really looking at the industrialization of pasta, working with the communities to produce feed, to produce pasta that can really feed the livestock that is dying. So we want to continue working together. We know that this is challenging. Climate change is here to stay with us. We have to adopt 
the practices that help us to adapt, to mitigate, so that at least you know, we can really become strong so that we don't go through what we are really facing now. So we are in this together and thank you very much. Uh, Your Excellency, tonight we are about to finish. I want now to invite uh, UNICEF, uh, followed closely by OCHA, so that we go to conclude this program. Where is our UNICEF uh, representative? Okay, if we don't have UNICEF, oh good, Karibu, Karibu. Uh, OCHA, UCHA, is here? Okay. Oh, good. So be, be next on the dais. Karibu UNICEF. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Your Excellency, the Vice Pre Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Your Excellency, the Governor, Excellencies, Ambassadors, colleagues from the UN agencies, um, the political leaders who are all here, all protocols observed. We would like to thank the government for spearheading all the support to mitigate the impact of drought on Kenyans. We know that more than 8.8 .8 million Kenyans are at risk due to the impact of this drought. And as UNICEF, we are working very hard to support especially the children. We have provided a support of more than 53 million Kenya shillings uh, during this year to support children in different counties, up to 23 counties, including Kajiado. In Kajiado, we provided a ready-to-use therapeutic feeding for under five children in approximately 129 health facilities. We'll continue supporting the county to ensure that no child, no woman dies from this uh, drought. And we complement uh, the government and congratulate you for your support to the, to the needy in the country. Thank you, much. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Asante sana, Madam, uh, please come forward. Habjambo, ha uh, thank you, Your Excellency, the, the Deputy President, and thank you, Your Excellency, the Governor, uh, and of course, the wonderful people of Kaijado. Thank you for inviting us. Uh, as OCHA, we continue to support the government, government, government response to the drought. Um, and I want to thank everyone here to showing us that when we talk about policies and when we talk about mitigating things, in the heart of it all are people. And these people are very affected. So I want to thank you all for showing and opening up to us and again indicating how critical and how grave the situation is right now. As OCHA, we continue to support, and we want to thank you all for your hospitality. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Asante sana. Thank you very much. Anza kufanya kazi yo yangu. I think I can do it. Thank you. Uh, now, Your Excellency, we are only left with two speakers. I want now to invite Annette Red Cross. Uh, to speak briefly, then we have our secretary to the cabinet, then I will invite you, Your Excellency. Karibu. Is that okay? Your Excellency, the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigathi Gashagwa, Your Excellency, the Governor of Kajiado, all partners present, private sector partners, the ambassadors, and uh, all the development partners. Wakazi wa Kajiado, Hamjambo. I am very honored this morning to stand here in front of you representing the Kenya Red Cross. I would like to start by thanking the government of Kenya through the deputy president who is represented here. We really appreciate the efforts that the government is putting in place to ensure that we all come together as partners to support the Kenyans who are affected by the drought. So to our government, thank you very much. As Kenya Red Cross, we have been responding to this drought since uh, early 2021. And I can assure you, we have seen a huge difference in the last 
two months, you have very ably mobilized all the different partners across the country. And today, everybody in Kenya is appreciating the seriousness of the drought. Everybody is appreciating the need for all of us to come together and support our fellow countrymen. And we really thank you for that. To all our partners, I would want to encourage you all. I want to say thank you that now everybody is coming on board to support, but I want to ask everybody. The key message for us today is let us come together to support the government of Kenya, to support its people. As Kenya Red Cross, we remain very, very committed. We are auxiliary to government, so we are, uh, by mandate, required to complement the efforts of the government. So we give you our assurance that we'll continue to work together to serve the populations and particularly to ensure that people have access to water, people have access to food, people have access to strengthen livelihoods. So taking care of the animals, taking care of the farms so that uh, as a people of Kenya, we can be able to stand strong. So thank you very much and I wish you all uh, very best. Thank you. Your Excellency, Deputy President, Rigadi Kashagwa, Your Excellency, the Governor, leaders from the national government, the county government, development partners, brothers and sisters from Kajiado. Endo sova. Endo sova. Tumefurahi sana leo kuwa hapa kwa sababu jua imekuwa kali na maji imekuwa ndogo na tumekuwa kwa janga la kiangazi. Lakini kwa wakati huu tumeona kwamba serikali imejitokeza na imetuonyesha that kwamba inatujalia. Sio? We are so thankful, Your Excellency, for the care that has been shown, not just to Kajiado, but to the Kenyans who are suffering at this time. We thank the development partners for coming alongside and holding our hands in order to make this season even more bearable. Tutaendelea kumuomba mungu kwamba atunyeshe mvua wakati huu wa kiangazi na tutaendelea kushukuru iyo effort ya kushikana mikono. Sita sema mengi ila kusema asanti sana na pokea pongezi zetu kwa wakati na usaidizi kama huu. Asanti. Uh, Your Excellency, thank you for remembering that our private sector have not spoken. I want to invite the representative of KEPSA, uh, Kenya Private Sector Alliance, uh, shortly followed by the representative of Kenya Association of Manufacturers. Karibu sana. Karibu ni. Hamujambo, um, Deputy President, development partners, and everybody here, good, good afternoon, I think it is. Sita sema mengi, sisi tumetoka private sector, wale wanaf watu wale wanafanya biashara, na kazi yetu ni, ni kushikana na government, tuwasaidie maali tunaweza. So, juzi juzi, tulikuwa na Deputy President, tuka commit pesa mingi, na more importantly, and I want to thank him, Unajua tunaweza kusaidiana ile mtu wanaweza. But the more important is to come to the ground, tuone vile itaendelea, so that we can continue to support. So poleni sana, we are committed to work with government, and uh, we shall do all we can to make sure that uh, to, you, you save your livelihood and you also save your, your, your families. Asanteni. Your Excellency, the Deputy President, uh, Rigadi Gashagwa, Your Excellency, uh, the Governor, leaders of Kajiado, development partners, na wanainchi wote hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Mimi naitua Mwangi, Anthony, and na 
nafikiri kuna watu wanakuja wengi na tunasaidiana na na serikali to mobilize the food we have committed over 100 million to support the government and your excellency uh, we were mobilizing food uh, last night and we were able to get more tomorrow we'll be delivering 247 metric tons uh, to the Kenya Red Cross na tunawashukuru sana asanteni Aya, basi watu wetu naomba tutulie kidogo na Ibrahisa kwa karibu kuja kutusungumzia Lema sailanga matigrata Nema ravalsinto kiti nkuritike sularebe Mbeko ya geyo gangarna sidai Awo monta aja matigrata Matigrata pe ikitum Matigrata Aya na Ibrahis wetu mpendwa Nduguri gathi gashagwa Our development partners our private sector leadership uh, present here, our fellow leaders from this county, wanainji tukufu wa county letu la kajado hamjambo. Jamani naomba tutulie, naomba tutulie. Rajua watu wengi wamekuja leo kufikiri hapa ndiyo mali ya chakula yote inapenwa, lakini ingependa tu kutoa uwelekezi kwamba kila eneo kila location kila sub county imepelekewa chakula yake na baadaye chiefs wetu village administrators wa county DCCs na wengine watawaelekeza your excellency as my fellow leaders have said colleague leaders have said we are thankful that you have come to Kajado again we know you had an option to pick another county, but you pick Kajado. And this is something we take it as great honor and special friendship on your part. And I want on behalf of the people of Kajado to tell you that we appreciate you, we love you, you are one of us, and we will support you. Our development partners, I want to, on behalf of this community, on behalf of this county to say thank you for your contribution. Thank you for continuously coming with us. Thank you for today's support. And thank you even for the resilience we are building together. As we deal with the emergency at hand, we are also talking of resilience so that in days to come, we don't find ourselves where we have found ourselves today. And so as we talk about resilience, just as we have called upon you for this emergency support, we call you so that together we can develop resilience programs together, like climate spot agriculture, considering uh, production of fodder, which is the main problem these pastoralists are facing, and even having ways to make sure that there is water availability across the year, because going forward, our focus will be on water availability and not necessarily rains. We know due to climate change, the rains are going to fail time and again, but we have many other options, including having dams powered by boreholes that are solar-driven to make sure that across the year, these people have water, these people have pasture, so that they go back to their normal life of milk production, meat production, and even agriculture that is not dependent on rain. And so our partners... I want also to give you uh, a message of gratitude from this community. Your Excellency Deputy President, as a county government, we have also altered our budgets as you directed in Nairobi in the meeting you had with the Council of Governors and set aside resources that were earlier on to go into development to address issues of emergencies and also issues of resilience. Specifically, just to mention one or two, we have set 100 million for the livestock offstake program, and we have uh, provided substantial <laughs> amount of money towards Shamba system for schools. So that our children from early age are taught about agriculture, and in this Shamba system, it is also to address the issue of food security by making sure that in schools, children are able to produce food as they learn 
agriculture. We have also, Your Excellency, begun a program to start having most of our boreholes to be solar powered. We know many parts of the county do not have electricity and um, diesel generators have become very expensive, so we are going towards green solar energy. And so, Your Excellency, we are also going out of our way to support this effort. And finally, I want to let you know that the coordination program, uh, framework where the county commissioner and I chair at the county level, supported by heads of department, has been cascaded down to the village. The food we are giving today, we are not giving here. It is being given at the village level. Because while the county commissioner and I and our teams do allocation to sub-counties, it is the sub-counties leadership, starting from the deputy county commissioners and the equivalent at the county level that will distribute food to the wards, which are headed by the assistant county commissioners, and it goes down Bakam Kijiji, village elders. So the food we brought has actually been dispersed to the villages because that is where the populations are. I know many more when I, when I came today thinking you are going to give them food, but we want to follow that program because it ensures equity. It also ensures that those who are very vulnerable are the ones that get that food. Your Excellency Niseme Jambo Kidogo ya Siasa, Lafu Niseme na Kimasai Kidogo, tunashukuru undugu wako na urafiki wako. Jamii letu ya Masai wamekua watu wa karimu. Wamekaribisha kabila zote hapa, wanaishi kwa amani, Hata wakati ya bala njaa, watu wale wamepanda chakula shamba yao haisumbuliwi kwa sababu ya ustarabu yao, kwa sababu yao kuheshimu sheria na ni vizuri pia tuseme mashida yao. Ingawaje tumefraia kuwakaribisha mandugu zetu. Sisi tungesikia vizuri pia kusikia jina ya maasai kajado kwa poindiwa kama PS. Hatuna shida kabila ingine ya Kenya, mkikuyu, mjaluo, mkamba kupewa na fasi hiyo. Lakini hatunge ataka jina yetu ipotee kwa sababu unajua wa Kenya wanapenda kabila zao. Unakumbuka wakati wa siasa, Central Kenya walisema no deputy president, no kura. Hatujasema hakuna kura kwa sababu ya PS lakini tunasema bado tunawaomba mutupatie na fasi yetu. Kwa sababu bado hatujaiona Hatujaiona na ni vizuri niseme kama kiongozi wa community hii Lama Asailang, enda soba? Enda soba, enda igil? Emi kijiro deyango harakasi? Emi tiyo dolo di kalangobo? Eti oyo, kage me, me te ndoro ni te sebatang Ate na shaa mukincho ongo lekura sapu kwa lengi na marabato. Na ina joki ndari marabato la inei. Ka ina joki ntaya ate na she sapu kwa lente sapu otinyi na kaito dolua joka ate na she. Karamati ntai, kareto kintai, kiri ya makinorala meyu ata golo, kake anda yolo lea marabata joka ata ndaite kene na haka granotu. Ayolo ra jo mera maraparongo lake la rangoro ne mera maraparako tiene weji le ma sai lang inta shirongo le po ke na reporting ka linyi na ina jo kintai era matie gira randa ilorinka ki e ro ne ne weji de ngara ke sia yo la meyu ni ke a ro sna sa bo lente ngara ke mio ni gira ra ye ma ni ke dal da ran kolo ngi po kin ke gira ye ma ke a je yul ronga na lang ere toto era ba u an ka ran ni ke beleke nyor ke rile ra matare Mwukure ya baiki pewe kwa nchan ki ngwari rapea kira matisho, lazima pewe kwa mbeleke nya rata, aito rui ngwari kwa hiru ni kira matisho ri mbeleke nya nkija piyankai, wari anato kina ji climate change ne ngoloto na ewo, ne mwukure shukokurum, era yoko yi mbeleke nya, ami di mpea kira omonisho ngolo ngipokin. Kipuwa na serikali ra rai ngwari anapasi li anke nini kintwa bera, pewe kwa metie si langene metie ala kota bori uboke ankare, Neti oltinka, oti isola, oita yankare, pego ori nena silangeni neti yankare ralari pokin. Niki mbungel champa yo turishoreki, niki nito berakil tunga nake, nito kina jifidlo na irotiye kinkishu ne meidur, owe itine deiri, 
peku beti community ne meeta enkare enye neeta nkishu enye na ke kule neti iltungana ko itobiri tendao onkishu amunya na ka yoke nyamali ema igwana re na erambara range ata isera meeta golo re enkare enye kibelekenya te nkijape na wore ana serikali ai niki belekenya ngo le budget niki rewaiti assembly niki te jogiri pa ka milioni ip na apo nu inyangunye nkishu na atu ata ata na gelo nito ike ni ajo nkishu peke ngora na gera ronga lange ndoki na dirunye maisha ta isere ina budget ni na silange ni na imaka ina budget ni na ropi ya ni oftek aya aa ore tina program ina budget na nyakiti pa na ropi ya ni silange ni Ninja kiri baka ropi ya nina jine school shamba system Pite nge ninge range ntulo ra akutitik Kia serasi yo kusirika liyaka unti ene niki indim Na joki asha simply Amerejo na yo speak aki mina budget Kiseli kina jore rana wiki na lotu Ne ime kina budget Pa wori tutinge wiki Nepo nui nyangu ni anakishu Na kaya kukaribu nkishu nka lifuni imied Mera meti sub county nemetu minkishu nka lifuni yare Ata akuti Kake yako neyongko pitona iranyu yoke nke neta isere basi na Ibrahis nilikuwa nawaeleza hao wapendwa mipango zile tumeweka katika budget kama county na kuagiza kwamba haitawezekana kuendelea ufugaji vile tumekuwa tukihama hama climate change imebadilisha maneno imelete shida mpya lazima tujifunze kufanya ufugaji kulingana na wakati tuko kama vile wakulima wameenda drip irrigation sisi wa Maasai tutaenda feedlot ndio ngombe yetu tualishe bila kuhamisha hamisha kwa sababu haitawezekana kuhama na mambo ya climate change na kwa hivyo your excellency tena nikushukuru na nitangaze kwamba kuna chakula iko hapa na ibu rais ameleta chakula zaidi kuna ile tumegawa lakini kuna chakula iko hapa mutulie kwa sababu mtapewa chakula wale wamefika hapa kulingana na vile mheshimiwa naibu wa rais amekuja Uh, kushikana na sisi once more our gratitude your excellency our love for you our commitment to work together with your government and uh, together with the president because as you said time and again there are no people for the county and people for national government watu wote ni wa Kenya na tumeitikia hiyo mwito wako basi sitasema zaidi ya hapo wapendwa wananchi tusimame tupige makofi ni mkaribishe naibu rais wetu akuje atusungumzie. Karibu sana mheshimiwa naibu wa rais. Asanteni tafadhali. Tuketi tafadhali. Waelete hii. Uh, Governor wetu wa hapa Kajiado viongozi wetu development partners wetu wakiongozwa na mabalozi wa Ufaransa na Ireland United Nations Development Program all humanitarian agencies watu wa Kajiado Enda sopa bogi. Messi Yesu. Amjambu. Amjambu tena. Muriega. Muriega rigi. God is good. And all the time. Nisalimieni kwa hebu Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Kajiado mpo. Kajiado oi. Kajiado hui, asante ni sana kwa makaribisho. Wale wote wamekuja hapa, tumekuja na chakula ya kutosha, kila mtu waena na chakula nyumani. Na pale kuingine, nizatuma chakula ya kutosha. Kwa hiyo... Sini mbibika hapa kama Deputy President? Yes! 
itakuwaje muende bila chakula haiwezi kai lazima muende na chakula nyumbani kwa hivyo tumemwambia county commissioner na wapi yake na machief na askari wetu na wazee wa mitaa na nyumba kumi tukimaliza ehe mpange wananchi vizuri muanze na wamama wale wako na watoto wapewe chakula waende nyumbani Mukimaliza muangalie mambo ya wale mavu wapewe chakula waende nyumbani Mukimaliza muangalie wale akina mama wengine wapewe chakula waende nyumbani Mukimaliza mupatie wazee vijana nyinyi ndio mtakuwa ya mwisho kuondoka hapa Tumekubaliana? Ndio vijana pia wapate haki yao. Lakini ni kazi ya vijana kulinda akina mama na kulinda wazee. Tumekubaliana? Sasa ningetaka nichukue nafasi hii. Watu wetu wa Kajiado. Kushukuru nyinyi zote kwa makaribisho na wageni wangu hawa marafiki zetu wa kitaifa tumekuja na hao marafiki wetu wa kitaifa kwa sababu tungetaka waone ile shida iko hapa katika nchi yetu ya vile tumehangaishwa na kiangazi na wameona kwa sababu tutakuwa na mkutano na hawa siku ya Jumatano na rais wa Jamhuri ya Kenya William Ruto tukijadiliana na marafiki zetu wa kitaifa jinsi tunataka watusaidie and therefore our development partners ahead of our meeting with the president on wednesday we asked you to come along to see the extent of the crisis that we have in this country so that you can talk to your countries back home and agree to give us assistance that is commensurate to the nature and the magnitude of the crisis we have also come with our partners in the private sector whom last week gave us about 240 million so that you can see the extent and the magnitude of the problem and scale your contribution to 2 or 3 billion. We have come with the Kenya Association of Manufacturers and everybody else so that we appreciate what faces this country. Ningetaka niyakikishie wa Kenya ya kwamba Rais wetu William Ruto ameniagiza mimi nisimamie hii mambo ya chakula na ameniambia na ameniagiza ya kwamba niyakikishe nikishikana na wafanyikazi wote wa serikali na marafiki zetu hakuna mkenya hata mmoja atakufa kwa sababu ya njaa na tungetaka kusema for the next two weeks tuko na chakula ya kutosha lakini hapo mbele tunataka usaidizi tunataka tuko na budget the government so far has put 4.9 billion and we require 2 billion shillings every week for the next 8 weeks we need 16 billion Kenya shillings. We are therefore today launching an international appeal to our development partners, to humanitarian agencies, and our friends across the world to come to the aid and assistance of the people of Kenya so that together we can marshal resources up to 16 billion Kenya shillings for the next eight weeks. Similarly, we are launching a national appeal to the private sector and to Kenyans of goodwill that as much as we are going to ask for assistance from our development partners and international friends, charity begins at home. Let our local investors, our local business people, the private sector, much as we are appealing for help internationally, let us start from home. By Wednesday next week, 
the president will unveil a committee of eminent and credible Kenyans to receive donations from the people of Kenya. People who are credibility that Kenyans believe they'll manage those funds in a transparent and an open manner, pragmatically and in a prudent manner for the benefit of the people of Kenya. Kwa hivyo ningetaka kuomba watu wetu hapa nyumbani wafanyi biashara, mabanki, kampuni kubwa kubwa kila mkenya ambaye hako na uwezo itakuwa ni, muk, ni makosa mkenya mwenzako akufe njaa wewe ukiwa na namu na vile unaweza kumsaidia and therefore baada ya kupeana hii chakula tutatuma chakula kila sublocation na tunauliza county commissioner wetu machiefs wetu wakishikana na development partners na county government wapeana hiyo chakula kwa njia ya usawa Dio yule mkenya wowote ambaye hako na shida hapo kajiado na kuingineko katika taifa la Kenya aweze kupata usaidizi. And therefore I want to tell our people that our government is responsible enough to make sure that its citizens are taken care of in this difficult time. But going, high, going forward, our development partners, in our meeting with the president on Wednesday, we also want to be very realistic. This intervention is not sustainable. We must now sit down and candidly discuss mid-term and long-term solutions to the challenges that have been brought about by climate change. We must now agree that going forward, we must shift from rain-fed agriculture to irrigation and serious water harvesting. We must together with our development partners come up with practical and pragmatic solutions and create a roadmap on how to address the effects of climate change, on how we shall attain food security so that we don't find ourselves in the situation we are in today. Tumekubaliana watu ya kajiado? Na ningetaka kumshukuru huyu gavana wetu, Joseph Walelenko, kwa kukubali pamoja na county assembly ya kajiado, kutenga pesa kiwango, <coughs> ya kununua chakula, na kusaidia watu ya kajiado. Na ningetaka kuwauliza magava na wote katika Kenya, ata kama muko na program ya barabara, na ya maji na kila kitu kwanza muweke kando mpatie wananchi chakula kwa sababu wa muwezi jenga barabara saa ile hakuna wananchi wamebaki the priority for every county government today and the national government is to feed our people other programs can wait for a while so that we can deal with the problem at hand nikimalizia watu ya kajiado kwa niaba ya Rais William Ruto na mimi na sisi zote watu ya Kenya kwanza kwa wale wengi ambaye walitupigia kura hapa Kajiado tukapata uongozi wa Kenya nataka kusema asante sana shukurani hata wale wa kupigia sisi kura nyinyi pia ni wa Kenya tutawafanyia kazi lakini nyinyi watu ya Kajiado pia muerevuke Siku ingine muachane na ile mzee. Hii kazi ya Kenya ni ngumu. Awezani naye. Ama mnaona anaweza? Si amepitwa na wakati. Wacha tujipange na William Ruto na Degathi Gashagwa twende mbele. Na ndio mimi nashukuru huyu gavana na watu yake wamesema uchaguzi umeisha tushikane tusiangalie mtu walikuwa mlengo gani sisi zote ni viongozi Kenya yetu isonge mbele Tumesikizana watu wa Kajiado Unajua sisi watu wa pale mlima tuliona mbele Sisi tulichaduka zamani Rais aliondoka alijaribu kutupeleka kwa hii mzee tukamwambia aende peke yake Kwa sababu tulijua hiyo mzee alituletea awezani na kazi ya Kenya 
na huyo mzee nimeona ameanza kupiga kelele ati ya kwamba rais William Ruto amesema wale polisi waliwa wa Kenya washikwe wewe mzee kama unalalamika watu waliwa wa Kenya ati wasikamatwe haki ya wale ambaye jamii yao waliwawa itachungwa na nani I want to save all the avoidance of doubt. All those officers who participated in extrajudicial killings will face the law. All the victims of extrajudicial killings must get kuze nani aliua wa Kenya. Sisi wenyewe tutachunguza kwa sababu tuko na ujuzi. Wewe kama unataka kufanya kazi na wazungu, uingie ndege, uende Ulaya, ukafanya kazi huko. Ama mnataka tuleta wazungu hapa mambo yetu? Wazungu watusaidie na mambo ya chakula. Si ndio? Kazi tunataka wazungu watusaidie nayo ni mambo ya chakula na mambo ya maendeleo. Lakini mambo ya uchunguzi ya wale DCI waliua wa Kenya. Hawa watakamatwa na polisi ya Kenya watapelekwa mahakamani watakuta jaji wa Kenya na watafungwa jela ya Kenya hapa nchini Kenya na tungetaka kuambia hiyo watu ya umbizani nyinyi muachane na William Ruto afanye kazi huu uchumi wa Kenya huko hapa leo nyinyi ndiyo mlilete mambo ya handshake na mambo ya BBI mkaharibu Kenya siku tumekuja kwa serikali tumekuta hakuna kitu pesa yetu yote ya Kenya 50 billion mulichukua mukaleka BBI mukapeleka BBI mukachukua 200 billion mukapeleka project azimio ikazama pamoja na nyinyi kwa hivyo msitulekie sisi msituambie ati vile Kenya natakiwa kukaa wewe mzee opposition you are co-president to Uhuru Kenyatta all those things you are telling us to do you had 5 years with Uhuru Kenyatta to do those things and you did not do them wewe kaa nyumbani uangalie vile Kenya naongozwa. Si iko namna hiyo? Si iko namna hiyo? Eh, hey, azituletee. Si Musaidi ameharibu Kenya. Si alikuja akakoroga Uhuru Kenyatta. Akapoteza yeye njia. Uhuru Kenyatta alikuwa muungwana. Alikuwa kiongozi wa maana. Huyu mzee akitendawili akamchanganya, akawachana na mambo ya Kenya, akaingia mambo ya BBI na azimio. Sasa ameanza kulialia hapa ati anataka kutusaidia kuongoza Kenya. No. Sisi hatuna nafasi na wewe. We don't need you in our government. Wewe kaa kwa upinzani uulize maswali ukiwa huko. And we don't need your advice mzee akitendawili. If we need advice, we know where to get advice. But not from you because you misadvise Uhuru Kenyatta and you ruined the economy of Kenya na ukaharibu Kenya. Wewe kwenda upumzike na ukae kwako nyumbani. Tumezikizana? Tumezikizana? Na kama yeye ako na kazi ya kufanya atavuta chakula aletee nyinyi hapa. Awacha kupiga kelele. Yeye yeah, anapigia nani kelele? Si alikuwa na nafasi. Eh. Hey. And I want to say I want to say for the avoidance of doubt. Where, when these extrajudicial killings were taking place, the leader of opposition then abandoned his role to oversight government and joined the government. And the government started practicing impunity because there was nobody to check that government. He cannot now tell us of what went wrong then because he is the one who abandoned his work and his duty. Let him not tell us what happened then when they were with Uhuru Kenyatta? Let him oversight us now what we are doing today. That is what we are interested in. Tumesikizana watu ya Kajiado? Mutaunga mkono huyu gavana wa lelengu? Munataka afanya kazi na sisi? Wangapi wanasema gavana afanya kazi na wili ya mbuto na gandika shagua? So where gavana umesikia? Na pale mbele ujipake na sisi pana? Wachana na hii watu ya kuzimia? Hiyo watu watakupoteza. Watu ya Kajiado pia tungetaka kutangazia nyinyi. Tumeangalia mambo yenu. Hivi siku zimepita wiki tatu. 
tumepatia mtoto wenu kato ole mitito kuwa controller of state house na ndio tumesema sasa watu ya kajiado serikali ya Kenya kwanza imeangalia mambo yenu siku sijazo pia tutaongeza kiti kingine moja utakuja kusikia kutangaza tukipeana mabalozi tutaongeza nyinyi hata kama hamu kupigia kura sisi vizuri tutatafuta urafiki na nyinyi mpaka tumpigie sisi kura zote na mimi hii kajiado sasa zitoki mimi nitakaa hapa na nyinyi bamba tu bamba eh ile kura yetu ilipotea yote mimi nitasanya na huyu governor na MP turudishe pamoja kwa William Ruto tusonge mbele tumekubaliana na mimi mnajua niko na mali hapa kajiado niko na mashamba hapa niko na manyumba hapa kwa hivyo mimi naongea kama mtoto wenu na mimi sitaki kajiado tena iende kwa upinzani nataka kajiado ya county kajiado county pahali mimi niko na mali nyote tushikane tuingie kwa serikali tupate maendeleo na ile njia ambayo inafaa kwa hivyo nikimalizia ni kusema ya kwamba tumemwambia officers wetu wa national government wafanye kazi kwa karibu na serikali ya county there are no two governments we are serving the same people uchaguzi umeisha William Ruto dio president lengo dio governor Mungu amewalete pamoja tufanye kazi pamoja na sisi hatutaki ugomfi kati ya serikali kuu na serikali ya county kwa sababu watu wa Kajiado wameamua na nyinyi mliamua mkasema rais ni Ruto governor ni lengu si walikuwa chama tofauti si nyinyi ni watu werevu sasa nyinyi kama mmeamua sisi ni akina nani sisi ni kufuata? Sisi tutafuata. Ya mwisho pia tumeweka pesa ya kununua ngombe Dio hizo ngombe zichinjwe wananchi wapewe nyama zile zingine sipelekwe KMC iweko kwa mikebe na hiyo nyama tuletee kwa watoto wetu kwa mashule. Dio tuweze kusaidiana. Kwa hivyo hiyo program itakuwa ikiendelea na itaendelea kila pahali. Tumekubaliana? Tumekubaliana? Nimeambiwa iko shule hapa pahali tuko. Na wameomba vile nimekuja mimi na gavana tusaidie tutengeneze fence ya hii shule. Si mkataka tuwasaidie? So tumekubaliana na gavana kwa hii uhusiano mpya ya serikali kuu na serikali ya county. Mimi nitoe shiriki milioni moja na yeye atoe milioni moja. Sasa tutapanga governor mwalimu governor atalete 1 million yangu na yake mjenge fence ndio tuweze kuchunga shule yetu ikae na ile jia ambayo inatakikana kwa hivyo mimi sasa wewe county commissioner upanga watu yako hao watu wapate chakula waende nyumbani vile nimesema you start with women with young children then pwd then the other women then the old men and finally my young people wa malisi wafunge pale mwisho si vijana tumekubaliana kwanza nyinyi ndio mtasaidia kusimamia mambo ya chakula vile naenda kwa sababu nyinyi ndio kesho yetu na tutategemea nyinyi kwa hivyo mimi gavana kufikia hapo nimesema asanteni sana ninaenda huko waboseli pia nikaone wanyama wa pori pia iko shida tunapeleka chakula ya wanyama wale wa porini ndio tusaidie hawa wanyama tusikuje kupata shida May God bless you and bless you abundantly. Asante sana. Uh, Bishop tafadhali nitaomba uje utufungie kwa maombi na ubariki safari.